<laughs> Megan Hicks of I Run Far, and I'm here at the finish line of the Rut 50K here in Big Sky, Montana. I'm with women's Martina Valmasoy. <laughs> I'm with <laughs> Martina Valmasoy, who is women's third place finisher today. Yeah. Congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> I'm more surprised than you. <laughs> you are surprised? Why are you so surprised? Yeah, because it was my first 50k and um, it was my fourth race this year and so I didn't expect nothing similar as this so I was just okay, I want to try and I want to finish uh, that was my goal, but then uh, when I started I was feeling good, I was okay, maybe <laughs> it's gonna be better than what I thought. <laughs> well, I want to back up just a little bit because you, Martina, might not be somebody that the trail running community is familiar with. You're somebody that the ski mountaineering com community knows well. You're a very famous <laughs> ski mountaineer in Europe. You've competed in the European Schemo Championships as well as the World Championships. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, it's like eight years that I'm in the national Italian team, so um, it's, yeah, I'm kind more familiar as in the schemo schemo world than the running world, but um, it's something similar. At the end, it, most of the time are almost the same people, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean it's just people who love the mountain, it depends on the season. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, normally I was just running uh, for training and in winter I, I used to race much more because uh, yeah, in the World Cup you have like maybe two months every week, every weekend you have two, three races and it's going from December until May and it's it's quite tough so that's why I wasn't thinking to make like two seasons right. like Emily or Kilian right. does but uh, because I think it's really hard but why not try something <laughs> yeah some race so this has been your first summer sort of committing to racing trail races you ran the Mont Blanc marathon and then you've done a couple races in Italy in, yeah at home yeah and so now your first uh, your first trail running race like out of Europe yeah it was it's um, I've been in Miami so it was not my first time in the US but it was a really different kind of trip so uh, being here in Montana it was, it's just amazing it's so different from Europe and um, you have yeah like huge spaces and it, all the people are really nice and uh, we just love to be here and um, yeah I was thinking uh, I've tried two race that was about 35k and I, I thought okay maybe I'm better in longer distance uh -huh. so why not trying once and um, there was a place here a free place for, with the salmon athlete at the road and so I said okay why not try it? I will try it, it looks really technical and I love technical terrains and so yeah it was the best place to try it <laughs> well let's walk through your race from today a little bit the race yeah. started off in the dark very cold this morning and it spent some time down low sort of weaving through single track and yeah. some roads how did you feel during that early part yeah I wasn't I was start really really slow um, and I was quite alone with few guys and I was like, okay maybe I start too slow I, I already I already lost the girl I was like, okay you are doing what you always do Martina but that's fine it's long and then when the light comes up like we did like the first short downhill I was like okay I catch them I, I, I love the downhill much more than up here okay so I was uh, okay uh, I can start the race and they were uh, all the girls we were like uh, six girls together and we did most of um, all the single tracks, the flat part mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. and there was a pace that I, I was able to follow so I was okay because I know that I have to follow my pace, yeah. don't look to, uh, to the other girls but I was okay, this, this I can do it <laughs> and, and then they start to push a little bit more so um, I take a bit of um, a gap uh, from them and me 
uh, but then when we start the climb again it was good okay yeah, it was good I, w I had my poles that I'm used to click 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 yeah click, yeah, click. yeah I'm used to use in uh, in winter so yeah. I was like okay why not why not it's a long race so it's difficult to run all the time yeah. so it was helpful for me having the poles and um, yeah uh, in the uphill I was feeling good and I was almost catching the other girls in the first downhill but then I didn't see them I uh -huh. think they miss a turn so they they made like a short loop longer than uh -huh. yeah a, a bit a turn longer than what I've done uh, uh, and so I just I was in the in the uphill again and they were just behind me I was like oh, okay <laughs> yeah that's cool <laughs> but yeah we made all the all the um, second uphill together uh, almost yeah like one minute uh, there was Hilary and another American I don't know okay I don't remember her name yeah and then it was downhill again so uh -huh. I was like okay now it's my turn again but then uh, Hilary was was coming fast and uh, she just catch me and she take uh, advantage in the last in the last part the last okay. uphill and okay. the last long way to the super to long maybe oh. downhill oh uh, yeah I found it really long but it was <laughs> really nice yeah um, the course changed a lot from being very runnable terrain yeah. to then being very steep and technical either up or down. Obviously, I think with your background in ski mountaineering, it's the steep ups and steep downs that benefit you the most. What did you think of like the more technical parts of the course today? Do they compare to things that you train on at home in Italy? It's we have a lot of tec technical trails, but not that rocky. Like okay. uh, it's it's really it's really particular here this kind of rock because are like every Blocks. size yeah and yeah. they're moving and you didn't know okay I put the feet there and they will they was, stay or yeah <laughs> and so it's a uh, I'm I'm kind of I like the downhill even if when it's technical so uh, of course you you are not able to go fast as as some trails at home but it was uh, uh, it was good for me yes if it was like a single track fast I was dead probably yeah. yeah yeah no it was really good for me to have that that two up here there yeah our uh, reporters who were out on the steep and technical part said that you were the fastest mover okay. coming downhill okay yeah, as that's well as cool. flying uphill <laughs> behind you know the big climb to Lone Peak that you were just flying uphill at almost the same pace as Emily was yeah I was feeling really good that mm, in that part okay and yeah they said that in the downhill I was quite good like uh, yeah we uh, she Emily doesn't take advantage in that part from me so yeah. I was yeah, I was pretty happy with happy with that yeah yeah of course Emily is strong even if of course she were <laughs> probably a bit tired from the two races right. for sure yeah, yeah. Right. But, uh, for me it was it was yeah a good comparison for sure you're used to training at some altitude like in the Italian Alps and the Dolomites but today is higher I mean our, these mountains are taller yeah how how did your breathing and lungs feel today uh, my mm, parents place is from it's the Dolomites but now I live in uh, Riva del Garda Arco. So in the Lake Garda, it's I live at 160 meters. meters. <laughs> so uh, I was like, like sea level. okay. I was uh, one week in Chamonix for the UTMB. So okay, now I will warm up a little bit, like uh -huh. with the altitude. I will go one week in Chamonix. It's gonna be okay. But then when I come, when I came here, with the first three four days was horrible. Like <gasps> you cannot move. But it was good uh, to come like on Tuesday, so we had all the week yeah. to be climatized. Yeah. But uh, yeah, today it was pretty hard. Yeah. But uh, the first part of the race, then then you get some kind of used. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was good. Yeah. Getting ready to fly the helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> you one more question yeah. before the helicopter gets really loud you've now spent your first full summer trail racing you have many winters of ski
scheme engineering to compare to it. Will we see you trail racing again in the future? Why not? <laughs> why not? After, after this experience, why not? Uh, of course, I need to train more because uh, it was yeah, I haven't trained that much 